Fly Cruise brought to you from Land TV International. My name is Sharif Al-Tuni. I'm joined today with Ahmed Nader. Hello, Ahmed. Hello, Sharif. I'm really happy to be with you here on my cruise. And this, uh, it's actually a very good weather of today. It's mostly cloudy, no sun at all, and we have had uh, some, some showers, rain. Yeah, yes, some showers, of yeah, course. Exactly. Uh, the first topic, of course, we'll be talking about today on my cruise is the uh, constitutional referendum, I guess. It will be slated for the 14th and the 15th of January. And it was called upon by President Adli Mansour, who actually said that can you, as an Egyptian citizen, you can be voting anywhere within the republic. I think this is the top uh, event that is expected to be held in Egypt. Yes. And it's uh, among uh, the political roadmap for Egypt. It's, it's definitely going to be topping our agenda yes. within this edition. But as usual, we'll be having a roundup uh, across Several segments will be looking at the cultural aspects, we'll be looking at Christmas and the celebration uh, uh, last week, or, or actually this week, and we'll be also looking at uh, some uh, uh, career development uh, topics that we'll be discussing throughout this edition. Yes. The first segment that we're going to be having is uh, the uh, online and the social media uh, uh, posts, and usually we do this through our report for cruising online. Don't forget also to uh, send us your comments and interact with us through uh, YouTube or Twitter or Facebook. You'll find us Nile Cruise and Nile TV. Uh, let's move on now for uh, the Cruising Online report about the social media reports. Coptic Christians who make up about 10% of Egypt's 86 million people and constitute the largest Christian community in the Middle East have celebrated Christmas this week. Egypt's Christians rang in the New Year one day with prayers for peace after months of unrest but expressed no regret over backing the military's overthrow of President Mohamed Morsi. Posts by Egyptians on Facebook and Twitter have congratulated Copts on Christmas that has come in special conditions this year as Copts were attacked last August by Morsi supporters who set fire to homes, shops and churches mainly in central Egypt. A popular post on Facebook translates the sweet words of Egyptian poet Abdurrahman al-Azmudi who says, I am the homeland, half of me is Muslim and my other half is Christian. Another post asked readers what would they write if they only had a drop of ink that is enough for writing with only one word. Most answers of readers mention the word Olga. A post comments on the news as handers of people took to the streets in cities across Turkey calling for the government to resign following a high-profile corruption scandal that involves sons of cabinet ministers leading businessmen and the head of state-owned banks. Some people wave the flag of Egypt. Moving on to Twitter. Actor Nabil al halafawi tweets that Egypt needs to score three goals, the constitution, the presidency elections and the parliamentary elections, so that we can qualify for higher rounds. He adds Egypt should not waste any time as we are playing in extra time. Politician tweets that the 30th June constitution is a new start for Egypt. A tweet also comments on the historic visit of Adi Mansour, the entrant president to the Coptic Cathedral, as it is the first visit by an Egyptian president since the times of Gamal Abdel Nasser. Another tweet is about the renowned ex-Brotherhood leader Sarot al kharabawis declaration on the formation by the Brotherhood of militias to avoid accusations of terrorism. Another tweet by the Seventh-day newspaper speaks of a statement made by the Minister of Education that whoever discusses politics inside schools will be dismissed. Moving to YouTube, here are some of the popular clips. Cops clap enthusiastically on mentioning General Al-Sisi's name. Kama nawadda an nashkur siyadat al-fariq awwal abd al-fattah al-Sisi
a documentary showing the king saying yes to the constitution. Please don't forget to visit our website www.nileinternational.net Yes, Sharif, of course, the cruising online was talking about the new year and the celebrations and the different celebrities that are talking uh, about the new year and how to celebrate the new year. And of course, there's no better way to actually receive the new year uh, than with the spiritual practices or the spiritual note. And our correspondent, Lina Abdul Latif, went to Luxor to be meeting uh, in actually a conference about positive energy and metaphysics. So let's take a look. They call themselves the Metaphysics Group. They are a group of people gathering from all parts of the world to teach others how to approach the new year with a positive spirit. This year they chose Luxor to be their destination for spreading beauty, harmony, perfection and ascension. We teach people how to forgive, how to live a positive life, how to develop positive thinking, a positive attitude in life. And we also make a connection with beings of light, with angels that come to our earth to give us gift of gods. And we are here in Luxor. We are around 35 metaphysics, people who teach metaphysics in different countries of the world. We are here from Spain, Latin America, Central America, United States because every year we meet in one <coughs> country of the world to receive what we call an unfolding spirit of the year. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Because this Their practices include prayers and spiritual recitings that they perform at the Luxor Temple where their God resides. Amen. 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 He has a temple, he has a house where he lives and he manifests all this energy to the whole planet Earth. And this <clears throat> house 
and this temple is the temple of Luxor. It's not a physical temple, but above the temple, in the etheric plane, in a plane that is invisible for the human eye, it has a temple, the temple of ascension. That's the temple of the white rite, of the ascension, of the harmony, of the beauty. So we come here to receive him, Serapis Bay, as an unfolding spirit for the next year. Among the symbols of the group are the necklaces they wear, along with the white costume that symbolizes purity. It's not for ornamentation, it's for, for love. We, we believe in these uh, teachings. We, in our life, it was useful for me. So my, it's like the medal of my grandmother, for example. <laughs> and it's important to connect and to the people see a face. It's a representation. It's not probably the real face, but a representation of some people that we have to connect hmm? in the spiritual life. It is important. And the, the letters there, as I told you, uh, discipline is love. Starting off the new year with such a positive attitude enriches the soul with hope and optimism. In Abdel Latif, Nile TV International.